We are still on COVID-19 lockdown. So, as as it is almost happy hour-ish somewhere, um, we're going to do another scotch tasting. Today, we are trying Smokehead. Uh, Isla Single Malt Scotch, distilled and bottled in Scotland. Um, I'm assuming it's from Isla somewhere. Um, yeah, I saw this in the uh, in the liquor store, and you cannot pass up a scotch with a skull on it. It's uh, like yeah. literally, it called to me. There was some kind of it's in a metal primordial. Container too. Yeah, it's it's metal container, so it's got to be good. It it better be good. It's metal. It's like a Pringles it's, can. It, well, you know, it's metal esque. <laughs> it's it's some kind of metal. Oh. Um, yeah, pretty pretty cool looking marketing stuff. Um, it's got a smoky, coppery kind of uh, not label, you know, paint on the tin. Um, and this, yeah, beautiful little skull. So, gotta throw that down there. <laughs> now, I will pop this open. And yes, it does have a cork. So, we were we were joking around like if it didn't have a cork, I was gonna freak out because <laughs> it should have a cork. So it's in metal. It's it had yes. foil, metal, and a cork. Yes. Well, they all pretty much have foil, okay. um, except for like the twist off, you know, okay. screw cap kind of thing. All right. And to imbibe this beautiful, beautiful, it's smoky. It's smoky. I'll say that. <laughs> Scotch. We have the off-coveted, highly sought-after USA Kilts, Glen Karen glasses. So I'm going to pour these, throw things around. <laughs> it's just what I do now. Just Usually I hand toss. things to Eric. That's true. You're, like Here, catch. Throw it so it goes out of screen and then exactly. back in. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that now. All right, you ready? Yep. Nice. Give my breath, breath mints back. Meow. You almost hit the mic. <laughs> no, I'm not throwing it to you. <laughs> There's too much stuff between us. All right. So, glass number one. Ian, if you would, come on over and Turn collect the and distribute the glasses. Nice, healthy pour. Coraline, this is my sixth or seventh scotch today. I'm not sure which. <laughs> so, you'll be... You'll, no, actually, I've had about four cups of coffee. Um, here... These are healthy. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Mac, I'll have you come collect yours. Is that gone out of screen? Yes. And he's back. And Almost now back in. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'll give myself a couple pour as well. A little bit of water to open it up, as I have been instructed by the, uh, the, the Scotch master, Bill Reed. Um, or at least friend who drinks Scotch. <laughs> So I have I have not had a drop of alcohol yet today. That being said, I have been up since 3:30 a.m. I have about 300 or 350 miles under my belt, and I'm on my fourth cup of coffee. Yeah. So I'm highly caffeinated, sleep deprived. <laughs> so it's going to be a show, guys. So do you have a CB handle yet? Since you're doing all the, all the trucking, <laughs> <laughs> eagle eye. <laughs> all right, take a little whiff. Ian. It's, all right, Mac, what do you think of the smell? I think it's a lot smokier than, than some of the other ones we've had. I, I will say this. Um, the, the, common, the common thing that people say about Laphroaig is it smells like a Band-Aid. This smells like a Band-Aid. Like that plasticky, medicinal okay. kind of... Yeah, like more than Laphroaig almost to me. It's very, very, very smoky. Yeah, yeah. I'd agree. Well, yeah, it's, no. it's called smokehead, so you kind of <laughs> assume it to be smoky. It does have a little bit more of like a hot alcoholic burn than um, a Laphroaig does. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> this did, is smoky. <laughs> Max over there coughing. Did, did Jason Dude. just put this in his smoker? I know. Like, like, this. It would go good with the with the beef brisket that we just got the, mm -hmm. the barbecue beef brisket. Whew. Yeah, this is uh, wow. There's a lot of smoke. This is almost 
It's like drinking liquid smoke. It's like the morning after you've been drinking and you find that one glass with a cigarette butt in it <laughs> and you don't notice it and you take a drink. It, it tastes like, like smoke and ashes. Like it's, it's, it's too much. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm it, saying this. I think overall it's, it's a little bit smoother than most of the ones we've had. Like I don't, I don't feel there's not that little biter yeah. that little yeah yeah it's it seems very it's just smoke like there's an initial spike at the back and then it like mellows out real quick yeah yeah it's a it's a kick to the tonsils um ian how do you feel about it so far yeah, I don't like it as much as I like uh, a Laphroaig or, um, uh, or some of those other ones. It's got too much of a hot alcoholic burn. I like a more balanced yeah, flavor, it is, but it's not bad. It I is, have no major objections. It is, yeah, very, very balanced or lack of balance is probably a good place to start on this. It is very unbalanced. I mean, it is it is straight smoke and not, not a lot of, like, honey. I don't taste anything no. else. There's no honey. There's no chocolate notes there's no vanilla you know it's, there's there's nothing it's else the it's like of smoke yeah it's like <laughs> if you'd like some some smoke and you're rubbing alcohol try smokehead yeah <laughs> what's so uh, i i would say though that is kind of what you're going for if you, if you bought this and are upset at how smoky it is i i think that's <laughs> yeah. a that's a buyer issue <laughs> all right here, here's, issue. here's the uh yeah it's, it's, damn their their marketing and their beautiful skull um <laughs> <clears throat> Here's their, their their shtick on the back of the bottle. Intensely rich, yet certainly sweet. Oh, no, excuse me, subtly. I don't have my glasses on. Smokehead embodies a wild spirit and appeals to those with an appreciation for heavy, earthy peat. Uh, with, an, with immense smoke and notes of sea salt and spice, it's a vigorous whiskey that stands out from the crowd. Stands out. <laughs> the I, I get the I, I have the, a little bit of the peat, like the the dryness of my mouth would indicate the peat. It's like kind of a, it's yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's not like lingering. Um. The, yeah, the the flavor isn't really lingering for me no, too much. It, I think just the flavor is just smoke. There's not. There's nothing else really. Like the other ones, we've been able to taste hints of other things. This is just flat out. Yeah, like Lafroig and and Lagavulin and Ardbeg. All the Isla scotches that I've had are are a very balanced. They are ba well balanced some more than others, um, but it's a very balanced thing. And then there's like there's still a strong peaty, smoky taste to it, but it's balanced with other things, and it's not overpowering. This is. Has anybody else that you've seen Ian uh, had had this at all? That there are any comments on it? Uh, a lot of people are a lot of people are asking about what Isla comes from, but I haven't seen anybody specifically comment with their thoughts on this okay. brand. It's an Isla Scotch, so the island of Isla. Um, it's on the lower left corner, lower left coast of Scotland. Um, it doesn't say anything specific. It, it's not its own distillery, so it says single malt. So I don't know who does it for them. I don't know enough about, um, let's see, imported by Keeper's Quest, Inc. in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It is, smokehead.com is their, uh, is their web address. So I guess check that out. Yeah. Um, and we do have a question about the scotch here from Chris on Facebook. He wants to know, is it a PD iodine flavor or is it just smoke? It's smoke and a little bit, a little bit of iodine, which is the, yeah. like the band aid kind of smell to it. Um, Overall, the, the the main note is just smoke. Yeah, and it's very like, it's like drying out my mouth um, with the earthiness. It kind of it tastes like a little bit of dirt and smoke. It's giving me indigestion a bit. Yeah. Oh man, I'm disappointed. <laughs> we still got that bottle of log. Oh. No, the, the full one's in my office. <laughs> we, need to, we need to have a break mid-show and go get something to wash this down with. 
the little the little timer up it's like me <laughs> yeah all right well i think we've uh said of all about pretty much all we have to say about this i think that's um, all i've got to say yeah that's all i got to say about that <laughs> jenny what would you rate this scotch <laughs> um mr ian yes. what would you rate smokehead Smoke scale head. of one to ten use decimals if you like um Get professional. You got to get in there. Yeah, yeah. I would say, we'll say like a three point four. Like this is something that I, I like well enough. I'd rather purchase a Lafroig to be honest. Um, but I would, I probably wouldn't go out of my way to buy this in the future. But I, Here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it down. Let me, let me, let me set this. Here's our scale. Mm -hmm. Two or less, you would politely refuse mm. if it were offered to you. Eight or above. You would drive somewhere specifically to get it. Okay. Yeah, Seven. I'm operating on a five-point scale here. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. It's one to ten. Yeah, okay. Seven is, it's it's pretty good. It's it's above mm -hmm. average. Five is it's average. You know that's that's your basis. Yeah. Now, with that in mind, what would you rate it? I'd go more like six point one. Six point one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, again, hand it to me. I'd gladly accept it. I'll drink it. I'm not going to go out of my way to purchase it though. Okay. But yeah. Interesting. Mac? I think out of all the ones we've tasted, I think this is towards the very towards the bottom of, of my list. I don't think this is the the bottom. I think there's one we had a while ago. I'll give you some cheap scotch that'll be at the bottom. Um <laughs> Yeah. So I'm I'm McClellan's. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go four point one. Four point one. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to wrap my head around it and give it like a, an honest score, but it's like, it's it's so far over the rainbow. It's like yeah. there there's the there's the curve for 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 bold flavor and peaty and smoky, and it kind of crests for me at about lagavulin, and, <laughs> and then apparently it quickly drops <laughs> way the hell off. Um, this may come as a shock, and, and I think my tastes have evolved a little bit in Scotch. Because with with the Bill Reed Scotch tasting thing we did, I, I started digging some 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 more subtle ones. Um, three eight, like it's low. I it's it's too much. It is it is far too much. Um, I should expect that with a name like Smokehead. Um, it I don't quite look like that just yet. <laughs> but uh, if I drank a whole uh, two or three of these, I might. Um, but yeah, it's three, eight, it's, it's, wouldn't recommend it. It's too much. If you like smoke and peat and you want to be kicked in the tonsils, have at it, give it a shot. Mm. If you do not like Isla scotches or you're meh, okay on some of them, don't get this. You will not like it. You're going to waste your money. I, I have no idea what it costs either. I forget. I bought this and like 12 others at the same time. So that's about it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a a passable from Ian, and a below average and a definitely below average from Mac and I. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. That's it for Smokehead. <laughs>